Uh, he's about 10 minutes out or so. I told him to just come on up as soon as he gets here. Yeah. Uh, look, luckily I didn't have to go, like, through the uh, eject button on the situation.
All right, hello everybody. I'm Chris Van Meter. We have Chris Anderson joining us tonight. What's up, guys? For CVM's Brew Review, and we have a user submitted deck here from T Bowen, and it's a Modern Cats, it's just like a zoo deck. But <laughs> we've, got, we've got all cats, so Lone Lion, Step Links, and uh, Wild Nacatl, Kusali Pride Mage, Brimaz, Ambusher, Gore Clan Rampager is an honorary. It's an honorary cat because it's also a spell. But I don't know about you, but I can't wait to start casting some Kusali Ambushers. Yeah, this deck. This is gonna be I'm awesome. excited. What does Ambusher do? So it's a two-three reach for one green white, and if a creature's attacking you and you control a forest and a plains, you may cast it. This is gonna kill the the hell out of a goblin guide. Yep, dead. Nice try. Guess again. <laughs> Temple Garden tapped. Cast the oh, oh wow, yeah, you don't even need two lands to do it. I only really think about this card in a limited context, but I guess if you've got a forest plains, you don't need two lands. Yo, we've even got Nakato God is here in our chat. This is definitely awesome. definitely his deck. Well, he's he might be T Bone, that might be him. But let's uh we'll go ahead and pop into a league here and see how badly we can crush our opponents. Uh Sneaky the Dragon, if you want to uh submit a deck you need to submit it to cvm.stream at gmail.com make sure you put your deck name and the format for the deck in the subject line and then type out your deck list uh, in the body of the email make sure it's a good one too lots of exciting cards all right so let's hop into a modern league with cats cats on mats no we'll even do competitive yeah i think we can handle the competitive League. Creator since audio is much louder than mine. Hmm, let me see if I can make it a little quieter. See if I can just turn yours down. That works too. Audio options. That's weird. Well, I will just have to turn you down here on my side. Go ahead and talk now. Okay. Is this better? That should be better. Okay, cool. All right. So you made Legacy Top 8 at Eternal Weekend. What deck were you playing? Nakano God. Did it have Wild Nakano in it? If not, I'll be disappointed. <laughs> the email's right there at the top of the stream. It's cpm.stream at gmail.com. It's right there at the top. Death and taxes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you, Nakato God. We, chat we chatted about uh, death and taxes after you made top eight, I think. And unfortunately, I couldn't join you there. I got close. I lost my winning in. Right, well, we've got Nakato, Lion, Boros Charm, Lightning Helix. I think this is a keep. Uh, yeah. It's got cats and burn spells. Yeah. What more could you ever ask for? Not much. Actually, I would, I would take a lightning bolt off the top. Yeah, lightning bolt always is good. Yeah, actually, the, uh, the initial list that was sent in to me was 58 cards with only two lightning bolts, so I took the liberty of adding... <laughs> <laughs> Our opponent is mulligan to six. They kept their hand. Oh, wait, no. They did. All right, and they topped. We're on the draw, though. And am I still so. I'm still loud. Yeah, I'm going to play the intrepid hero. He's still louder? Let me see if I can make it quieter on my end. Yeah, I'll, I'll, turn, you, I'll turn the outgoing audio down on my end as well. Oh, they don't have any land. Oh, the old second main. Got me. Second main strategy. Yeah, I guess we're not facing the goblin guide here. Nope. 
I hope they have it and they just like click through their combat stuff. Maybe we're playing in Cat Mirror. It's possible. Here comes a lone lion. Ooh, it's a Lobomancer. That's kind of brutal, actually. So I guess we want to play Lone Lion first. Yeah, the old 2-3. What are you going to do? Yeah. We're not going to... Oh, okay. Mir Superion in, in taxes? Well, I suppose I could do that. <laughs> that card doesn't seem very good unless I have a bile, though. Jim.pan, what's up, man? going to be a fast flying game yeah this lightning helix is going to do, do do some good work yeah i'm hoping that he like takes a bunch of damage from his lands and we get to kill him with the thoros charm plus lightning helix it's og inventor's apprentice that would be kurt ape lone lion's like the middle child goblin guide all right block with my two three <laughs> <laughs> i wonder what he drew this turn oh Oh, okay. oh, are we going to get him? Oh, goodness. Uh, so, oh, I guess... I think we just attack, just, like, just attack with this. Well, we want to drop a fetch land first, because if he like decides to double block, we want to be able to helix to get the two for one instead. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think that I... I what, what if I just go get a... Mountain here. Oh, you can, but I don't think we need to use that mana. Like I, I would just not fetch. Well, I want to play this Nakado and have it be a three-three. Oh yeah, I see. Um, because I don't think that we have to use a two-mana spell here. Let me just attack okay. first and see, and see what he does. Yeah, yeah, we attack first for sure. It probably just lets it go through though. So, yep. you know what? I don't think that bluffing our opponent with an untapped red source is going to be relevant. Yeah, I agree. We'll just get attack shock. Hey, what's up? Hey, Caleb's here. Yes. <laughs> we are playing modern cats. Nope. Yep, we've got a Kasali <laughs> ambusher in our deck. No Kurt apes because they're not cats. Uh -huh. Nope. Do I hope he lightning bolts his Nakadal and attacks with his Goblin Guide so bad? <laughs> I would even be fine with him searing blazing the Nakadal here because it's so going to be such a huge blowout. For sure. Yeah, as long as he kills the Nakadal. I guess there's like us. I mean, we don't not play the Nakadal, but. We could definitely get him if we decided not to play the Nakadal, I suppose. Yo, is he just reading me for Ambusher? Yeah, yeah, he am had the read. I, am I getting leveled? Or or he just couldn't attack through a Nakadal. Do I just ship with both? Yeah, Bash. And we just take Boros Charm him. Double striking Nakato. Uh, I think we get more damage out of just four to the face, right? Yeah. Hmm. I think we're okay with this. we could like give our creatures indestructible but that, that i don't know next Maybe turn, that would next be turn we're gonna get to johnny vengeance minus mm -hmm. against him <laughs> oh man yeah the the lightning helix of johnny vengeance special seems pretty good against the zoo deck yeah i guess we just pass um, uh if he fetches i'm gonna helix his lava mancer in response Okay, that seems reasonable. I mean, I, I guess it's like what life total is he at to make it? Since we have 10 points of burn right now, can we just force through three more? Um, 
Um, or are we better off just grinding them out? Because we've got five cards in our hand. Yeah, There's he's, three. He's, yeah, he's, we're, we're better off grinding Morgan, them out. I think out. we're better off just grinding them out. Yep. Oh, man. He's going to get butchered so hard. Oh, man. I can't, I can't wait. We were talking before we went live. I said this card is going to block Goblin Guide a lot. Nope. Very first game. Our dreams came true. And we even get the, the fetch land option uh, if we don't like the card that we see on top of the Goblin Guide. Swiss beer, okay. All right. Yes. Is it a Tarkus command? Oh, that'd be kind of scary. I suppose that we aren't really priced into blocking. No, there's an Atarkus command on top of our deck. Oh, on Tavar deck. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, I guess we're still not priced in the blocking. Because he could have an Atarkus command of his own. Yeah. If that's the case, let's see. We just we play our Ambusher and then attack for six, seven, eight, nine. Boros Charming for 13. I mean, we're definitely putting the Ambusher in play right now. Yeah. So the question is whether or not we block. He only has two cards in hand. I don't think we block. Okay. It's just we just like actually have lethal. Mm -hmm. Yell uh type in the chat surprise in all caps. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> not blocking. <laughs> Yeah, surprise, no blocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Casali Ambusher. The very first PTQ I ever won, I had Eidolon, a great Ambusher. Rebel. I love this card. What, are, right. what are the ch chances that he doesn't block our attack? Uh, Well, only one way to find out, I guess. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get the audio so that Caleb can hear also. Oh, does he have like headphones on or something? I, I have headphones on. Let's see if I can just uh, switch it. Alright, so I think that I just attack here without playing a land or anything. Because I can Boros Charm, or I can I can Atarkus Command, and then Planes Fetch a Shock is Boros Charm. Is there any reason not to? Yeah, this seems fine. Uh. Oh, they read us. Aw. So I guess we can uh, play Johnny Vengeance and tap one of his duders. Is, like, tapping better than just, like, killing, like, a Goblin Guide and gaining three? I think so, because then our Johnny Vengeance doesn't die on the crackback. I guess that's fine if a Johnny Vengeance dies on the crackback, yeah, like though. They they have to kill like, it. For all intents and purposes, though, ticking up does kill it. We don't get the life, but the difference between 17 and 20, or I guess in this case, um, we have to we have to take three for the wind swept thief, or do we have a basic forest in our deck? Question. We do have a basic forest. Okay, so there we could take one. There are seven basics in this deck. But wow, just, seven but basics? we can't double red. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely do want to get a, a, a sacred foundry with that fish land. Was Boris Charm and Atarkus Command on the same turn? This all seems fair though. Fair, fair. 
Yeah, I think we just play it and then plus on the goblin guide. Let me try this. Because then they have to kill it, otherwise we just like legit have seven or ten points of burn in our hand, like between our hand and the board. Okay, can you hear me right now? Yeah. Okay, cool. And Caleb can talk too, and cool. he can hear everybody. Sweet. I, I went with the very technologically sound strategy of pulling out the headphones and everything worked perfectly. <laughs> well, there you go. Because Holly Ambusher is so good against Burn. Why have, Why is this card not seen play? I don't know. I guess there's just like not a lot of green-white decks. Yeah. Yeah, just anything that costs zero is incredibly powerful in a format. I mean, you, you don't have to be like green-white. You just have to have Temple Garden in your deck. Right. Hmm. Oh yeah, he did know we had the command because he saw it off of Goblin Guide. So yeah, of mm -hmm. course he's blocking that one. Forgot about that. Question: Why did we not hold back and then uh, Ajani like uh, plus on one of his uh, on his uh, Swiss spear? What? So why, why when we attacked with both two threes, like in order to cram the block? Because if he why wouldn't block, he he's he's dead. Well, that's fair. Yeah. I think we're still on a, Oh, that's good. Uh, so three, six, nine. I think he's dead, right? Nine, thirteen. Yeah, that's exact these. Yeah. As long as it doesn't have a bolt. I mean, even if he has a bolt, we can just rampage instead. It's still, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same the same thing. yeah this, they're both four damage. I like it. Yep. Uh, so we need two lands that can make red green or red white. Oh, you know what? We, we we can't have because we have stomping ground. So like, yeah, like, yeah, we he, can't do double red green because of he's, the he's not dead to a bolt, but he's still in a very bad spot. Right. Okay, now he's dead. Uh, my voice is low because I was like leaning back in my chair and not talking into my mic. Away from the microphone. Yep. All right, GG. Okay, so we have Pyroclasm. Uh, uh, sneaky, yeah. Uh, we're going, we're just driving to Baltimore tomorrow. We'll have a night at my house. All right, so we definitely want Lightning Helix. Yeah, Helix is good against Zoo. Sky is blue. Grass is green. You like Mutagenic Growth? I kind of like Mutagenic Growth. Really? Yeah, free pump tricks are great. Although, I guess, you no, know, he's playing straight burn. He's not playing... He's, yeah, not, he's playing. not like Zoo. He's burn. Right. right. So um, maybe we want Path to Exile? Uh, maybe, I don't know, because it lets him, like, uh, him getting that card, like, he's going to be able to use that land pretty well, right? Yeah. Especially if he only has one or two lands in his opener. Uh, I kind of like Deflecting Palm. So, like... I think we keep the Brimmazes, honestly, because they are four toughness, which is, like, a really good number against Burn, and they're also Vigilance, so that we can, like, um, we can pressure him and keep a blocker that he has to two for one himself in order to get past. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe vines is actually worth keeping as a oh, as a counter spell. Yeah, possibly. Um, I, I like getting rid of the rampagers for sure. I think Atarka's command might be a bit weak. Like all of our guys are X threes. So maybe pyroclasm is fine. That's definitely possible. Do we keep in Pride Mage? I think he's probably boarding out his uh, Eidolons. 
He's on the play, correct? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he'll keep yeah. him on the play. Uh, in yeah. game, if we go to a game three, though, we should probably take out the Pride Mage. So, kind of how we lose this game is going to be him sticking an idol on on two and us not having a quick answer because that's going to be probably how we lose this. So yeah, that, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, the Steppy Lynxes might be a bit weak. Uh, and yeah, same with the Atarkus Command, especially on the draw. What if we do like... Man, bring that as Atarkus Command just seems fiddly. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if we just bring in the vines? And just go like this. Uh... That looks okay. I think Deflecting Paul might be better than Rampager, though. Really? Well, I mean, he's a burn deck, right? It's just like a six point life swing. I think I'd rather just like have a card that can kill them, especially in combination with Boros Charm. Okay. It's one of our ways to get underneath the Eidolon draw. Uh, the... If he goes like turn to Eidolon if we have a guy on board, because it's um Sure, yeah. Oh, it, it's a, it's also, it, yeah, it's mm -hmm. also not a spell. Mm -hmm. Gore Clan's not a creature, so it doesn't count. Uh, United fans. It's, it's a spell. It's an honorary cat. I think we keep this. I, I, but to be fair, I said the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna pyroclasm. Yeah, we're it's gonna take a lot of damage from our lands. You know, a lot of damage from our lands. I like. I don't think we even play the step links. No, it's it's going, it's going to be a post pyroclasm play. Yeah. Give us the basic planes. <laughs> <It's a big laughs> <plane. laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Vines, okay. Mm. Who's gonna play the step wings? I think so. Well, yeah. In turn two, we can just incentivize him to dump. Yeah, yeah like if he, just, if he just plays like another creature here, even, mm -hmm. and he's like, fetch a mountain, make this guy a 4 5, pyroclasm, get a 2 for 1, attack you with a 4 5. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. This also just plays decent defense, uh, as long as I have a fetch on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and a low mine coming up. Dece. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of low mine. One mana, two threes, good against burn. Tell me more. <laughs> just nothing? Nothing. Uh-oh. Well, in that case, I guess we're assuming a saving place. <laughs> Probably. Mm -hmm. I, like, I mean, like, I, I feel like else if he would have searing blaze, he would have just done it pre-combat, though, right? Or on his turn, so that we wouldn't have the fetch land opportunity. What if I'm just like? Well, the fetch land only works if we once we play it. If we if he lets that go in the stack, then we he can hit it. I mean, mm -hmm. that might be his mentality. I think we play a stomping ground untapped, then drop lone line and attack him for two. And then that lets us hold up bolts and binds. Yep. I like that. Yeah, that way we don't have to like accidentally crack that fetch land or something on our opponent's turn. Well, if this is a serene blaze, he's gonna this is gonna be he's gonna be real sad. Uh, he does still get to deal us three. No, it, it yeah, does. Does it target or does it hit that creature's oh, control? Awesome. The creature. Yeah. Uh, Searing Blood doesn't do it, but Searing Blood sure does. Um, yeah, I, I still think we vines though. 
seems good to me. Yeah. Like, we're going to need to win this game pretty quickly because he's going to start dealing us a lot of damage. And he's running out of cards to do that, and we definitely have the amount of... We have the, the firepower in our hand to be able to turn the corner on him pretty quickly. Do I, so I, have, I still just have to attack here, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's not doing anything blocking. Uh, yeah. I, I'm on team card order. Alright, what's he got? He's got windswept teeth. That's not something you see very, very often. <clears throat> Possible budget. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I yeah. guess it's air maces are pretty expensive on magic online, I think. Yeah. At least comparatively to Right. I think they're about like twenty five, twenty, something like that. I don't know. Whereas the cons fetches are all under ten. Ooh, the hardcast rift bolt. Um, he like awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so he, we get to put him to one if we want. No, we kill him. He's dead. Yeah. He's just dead. Boros charm. What if foothills lightning bolt? That's eleven. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> I literally just said to myself, oh my god, they're going to have gut shot. <laughs> Trying to shortcut. All right, good games. We got one. I don't know about you guys, but I smell a five oak coming on. <laughs> you, know, you can't beat the cats. <laughs> you pull out and then last round get paired against somebody with a hound sack. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> just all, just like a werewolf stack. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, that was so I think it was. Forrest Griffin, one of the uh, one of the Minnesota guys, like once original Innistrad came out and the open right after that it was in Indianapolis and he played a deck that had nothing but basic lands and werewolves in it, like flip card werewolves and he only played with checklist cards on all of them and he had Japanese checklist cards <laughs> he actually cashed that tournament too wow that's, that's pretty bad You storming again? You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. 
Yeah. I think Jesse's storming too. Oh, dope. <laughs> yeah. And playing small white creatures. I don't blame you. They seem to be quite good right now. Yeah. <laughs> that sanctuary is not fair at all. Yeah. That card is pretty absurd. Which card? Prelate. Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real nice. Any number you want. No cost. We're playing Gabby. We played Gabby like every other week when we're on Thursday when we're doing these. Things. I wonder if that's just like the time she jams games on Thursdays. <laughs> oh, she's got a Watsy coverage. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Does she have a God account now? Yeah, I mean all the coverage accounts are God accounts. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We lost the die roll. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we need to fetch. I think we still keep this though. Uh, we can cast almost all the cards in our hand. We have a three three Nicotle. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> what does Gabby usually play in modern? Tron, I think. Tron. Ah, that's no fun. We got a Pride Mage. Probe. <laughs> <laughs> Not Tron. <laughs> eh, it might be Tron. Probably Infect, I guess. <laughs> uh, maybe Infect, maybe Storm. Mm -hmm. That'd be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Not for us, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Basic Island. Huh? Okay, not Infect. Storm. Storm, yeah. yeah. Do you, think it's, do, do you think I just shock here, or do I just play off the phone? I would shock. Yeah. Just to turn this on, just in case she's just like, Bomat Courier attack you or something? Bomat Courier. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? I guess, I guess making it a 2-2 is relevant. Uh, I think Legacy Eldrazi is a solidly, like, borderline tier 1.5, tier 1 deck. Oh, this deck. Oh, Kiln Beans. Okay, well, I'm glad we have that finds the best way. And an ambusher is going to block for a turn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just how we drew it up. I mean, I just killed a kill and faint here, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That and thing is terrible. I, I, I should probably just get in for seven with this ground swell, too. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just get your damage in while you can. Yeah. Mutagenic growth is kind of a blowout, but I guess I can counter it with vines. Yep, counter it with vines. Yes, yeah, that works. I just want to make sure it didn't counter a bolt, too. I'm no! <laughs> what is this? I guess, do we attack, though? Would you attack? I think we attack. Or do we? Yeah, we just trade off. I mean, if, if she wants to block, we trade. The, the, the only thing is that whether or not she can just kill us next turn. She also, was, we also have with, with only three cards and down two mutagenic growth, I don't think so. If she can kill us, then the Nakadal's basically just a healing sap at that point. And the difference between that's just going to be one spell. Because it's trample. I mean, she's at 14. I'm just going to attack. I, I like attacking. Mama didn't raise no blocker. Hilting is terrifying. I think this deck is great. If anybody's going to Dallas this weekend for the Grand Prix and you don't know what to play, I Are highly gonna, recommend it. Are we going to ambush? Please don't have Vapor Snack. <laughs> Surprise. Scour for the mm -hmm. trades. Awesome blessing. Yeah. That's fine. I think she's really close to dead. She's at one, right? Yeah, one. Which turns off all the mutagenic growths and all the apostles blessings.
Uh, T fit ambusher says if a creature's attacking you, and oh, uh, never mind, no more, we didn't kill him. Uh, if we had a step links, we could like play Kasali Pride Mage and then path it after the exalted trigger and get the landfall. It'd be awesome. We so I think that I so I can't ground spell and Pride Mage here. Uh, right. Or uh, no, you can't. Nope, because basic mountain. Is it uh, is it worth just like pathing the kiln fiend? Now? Mm, might be. Do they run any form of counter magic on average? No. No. The only counter magic they run is a fossil blessing. Mm. Uh, and yeah, T fate. Um, Ambusher says if creatures attacking you and you have both a plains and a forest in play, then you get to play it for free. And as if it had flash. Also has reach. I wonder if it's worth just playing the Pride Mage on this turn. Or if I just Groundswell, get in for seven, put her at two, and then like path. I don't Cause... think she has lethal either way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she has lethal either. She, has, she doesn't have land. I know that. Otherwise, she would have played a land. So she's got cards. What if she draws. Or another uh, killed me or something? So if she has. Mutagenic growth. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I bet you for sure it's going to be a two-drop creature in her hand. One of those cards is a two-drop creature. The way that she's been playing this game, that makes a lot of sense. So we're dead to... Because um, Thing in the Ice would have been a better play than turn two Kiln Fiend against the Coddle. So we're dead to Spell plus Battle Rage. No, you know what? We still have no, path we back. Clock, we, we, we still have we path clock. back. Oh, if you, if you go groundswell. Yeah, if I just force groundswell, I, I I think that's that's best. Um. Okay. It definitely makes the groundswell more potent because we have to draw another land in order to hit. It well, also, I, it also puts not... her at two, so like, she can't use any of the fire XD mana spells. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep, definitely. That's the line. Three and softball. Hello. Sierra Visions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get a lot of people if you play this deck in paper still. Oh, yeah. I with almost, I almost, yeah, okay. or, uh, no, 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 no. I mean, uh, Gabby's deck, the blue red kill deck. It really hasn't made its presence known in Paper Magic yet, so I think there's going to be a lot of Magic players that you're just, they're not going to know how to play against it, and you're going to beat them really easily, as long as you understand what's going on. Simeon Spirit Guide? Uh-oh. Uh, all right, well, that, yeah, that that's not okay. You're going to have to do something about that. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, have a mountain. Yay, we win. Okay. Deflecting palm. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we want deflecting palm. We want path and vines. Mm -hmm. I think we cut the pride mage. Yeah, we can cut the pride mage. Vengeance too slow. Yeah. I think Brimaz is too slow. Although she's probably going to bring in like bolts and stuff, so having an X4 isn't the worst. Groundswell seem pretty medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Groundswell and Rampager are both a little bit. Like, I, I guess it's. Hmm. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Maybe, I like, like, maybe we cut Rampager for a Lightning Helix. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We want to be as interactive as we possibly can. Um, and yeah, they don't run any artifacts or enchantments. Yep, I like the way this looks. Uh, I, I don't think. Well, do we want mutagenic growth or do we want core clan rampager? Mm -hmm. Or do we want groundswell? Groundswell might be better than rampager. 
That's true. I think it is. It's just like more lean. Like, because she's gonna do a lot of damage to herself. Yeah. Especially if she's using like All a lot. Of a lot of her interaction is Phyrexian mana. So. Well, we don't have any proactive play. Also, that Atarkus command looks hideous. <laughs> I think yeah. we probably should have cut those. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I, I would mulligan this hand. I agree. This one seems better. It's better. Yeah. I've, I've seen worse hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the third Lone Lion. Uh, three's a crowd. All right, Gabby, give me your best shot. Spire Bluff Canal. Right. Let's draw another white source. Ooh. Well, we drew that white source I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we could like play the heat and attack, and then that lets us turn our minds into a removal spell. Yeah, if she blocks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And if not, we can just path and drop the other lone lion. Yeah. The only issue is that we kind of just like, I don't double green for vines, but we also want double white for step links, Lone Lion, or path Lone Lion. Hey, the man in this deck is perfect. We also want red because Targus Command. <laughs> How does this deck have seven basics? No blocks, okay. <laughs> you sure you don't want to block? Rats. Uh, and we we do have to kill thing in the ice immediately, without a doubt. That thing flips the very next turn, most of the yeah. time. So, do we want a, a sacred foundry? Yeah, I think so. I think at this point, like this vine is going to be a potential counter spell on. Yeah, yeah, it's Vimpon. very unlikely that that card is getting killed. Our target. Team Rebellion Rage. <laughs> And yeah, this is how we. This is how you beat the blue red deck. Is you just kill all of their two drop creatures, and they don't win. But if they, if you don't kill all their two drop creatures, then you're in trouble. There's our forest. So we can we can make that fine play again. Just attack three six nine damage again with that Atarkus command puts her to nine, and then we just like play step links and it thing gets flipped, and we have a bad time. Yeah, I think there's much else we can do. And I don't like waiting to try and wait a turn to get in more more damage with the step links. Yeah. Lock. Rest. Do we play the step links? Probably. Yeah, I think we do too. Uh, it makes it so that if she has like spell, 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 
battle rage, we just die on the spot, though. Yeah. That's a good But point. it's one of those spells that's also a fossil spells, and it just doesn't matter anyway. So that means if we draw land, two, two, draw land, six, puts her to, it does eight damage if we draw land next turn. If we draw fetch land, then they would kill her. But, uh, okay. four cards in hand. A, a fetch land is only eight damage, so like she's not right. dead. It's pretty likely that thing is getting flipped. Yeah. I, I think I think we're better off sitting on the spines. Okay. This deck does seem pretty sweet. We should have just played this deck instead of Dredge. <laughs> I, that was my backup deck. If I wasn't going to play Dredge, I was playing this thing for sure. I think Thing in the Ice is incredibly underrated as a magic card. It's a 2 mana 7 8. This card should be banned, by the way. Oh, yeah. Crow oh, is yeah. one of the most powerful cards in magic. Uh, Corey McDuffie has told me that he thinks at some point in Magic's future, every single deck will have four Cataxian probes in it until it gets in. Bolt our face. Does die to removal, so does every other two drop. It doesn't even die to all the removal, it doesn't die to Bolt. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. What? <laughs> Real sneaky. <laughs> I hope that that was your only other card. I really hope that was your only other card. She, that been she has two other cards. In here. <laughs> yeah, but what if they were both lands? That would have been filthy. Yeah. <laughs> I have an all new respect for Gabby if she pulled that <laughs> off against us. I wonder if a Johnny is actually worth it. Uh, I don't think so. It's just too expensive. Uh, Pyroclasm might be, though. Not good against... Uh, Thing in the uh, Pyroclasm is really bad, but it does kill Kiln Fiend. And like I was saying earlier, like the way you beat this deck is by killing every single creature that they play. Yeah. I'm just like Certainly. Atarkus, Atarkus Command seemed miserable. Lance, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of the pump spells are better than Atarkus Command. I think one of Johnny's fine. Okay. His hand's pretty good. Hand's great. Mm -hmm. So we want double red or double white? We want double red. Yeah, we want double red. Mm -hmm. Or double green? Can't get double green. We can get green red. No, you're right. You're right. We can't get green. Okay. Green stomping ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> Please don't have thing in the ice. Kilmfiend. Oh, even better. No second land? Not really sure what's going on. Like, why would she keep a seven without any creatures? I guess it's just like two lands and five spells and mm -hmm. lots of interaction, but... 
don't know. She's, I'm pretty she's, surprised. She's to top see bottom on the, on the scry. Split them. Okay. And then she's drawn the card that she kept on top. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do what cats do best. Attack for two. Right. I think if she doesn't do anything relevant, I'm going to helix her on the end step. Uh, softballs. Uh, yeah, probably. What are they at right now? I think that the card is very good. If they're cheap, go for it. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to helix in response awesome. to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, if she's got stubborn denial, no nope, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Getting pretty close. This deck has mana morphos in it, too. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Zero mana spell. Requires no... No card investment. No mana investment. Yeah, there's a lot of just, like, fundamentally very powerful cards in this deck. Hmm. I kind of want to vines this, but no, 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 no. Let it die. Because all the is going to kill him. Kill her. What? Like we're not dead to. A like double this double strike doesn't kill us, right? Yeah. So basically, I think what we should do is uh, she attacks with a seven eight. We drop Kasala ambush her into play, and then uh, uh, bolt her twice and attack her two. Makes it well, so I'm saying like we can vines this and bolt and ambush her and have helix next turn. It's like we can uh, we can actually cast all of our spells this way. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It, 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 Lone Lion's going back to our hand, though. It, it's not It's not going to do very much this game, whether it survives or not. But, like, Divine's play, like, forces her hand on flipping. And, that's true. And, like, flipping and attacking is like she's still dead to ambush her bull to untap attack helix. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, let's give that a try. Yeah, it, it requires another investment. Or, yeah, it forces her into this line that we have in order to, yeah, let us win. Nita, okay. Well, that's not good. Mm -hmm. No, it's not, actually. I, I have to block with Ambush right now. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this deck's really, really good. Jeez. Yeah, I didn't think about the... Oh, we card. won! We won! She took two by playing Mutagenic Growth. Oh, yeah. Yes! Mm-hmm. As long as she doesn't have like stubborn denial. Right. Surprise. <laughs> I 
Oh, you know what? I made I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, I guess denial still counters this, even if I cast it in response. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yes, we got it. Uh... If she has a bolt, <laughs> that would be the biggest blowout. Although she she has been taught slow rolling by Luis. She does uh, have the denial. That's that's a shame. Oh yeah. man, I totally messed this up. I could have yeah, got. Yeah, you did. Oh man. Or no, no, no. no. There's no. There, no, I would have to take three to. Wasn't there, three to white, white. Wasn't there winning? Uh, what if we had? Instead, um, in response to the bolt on our guy, just binds her. Yeah, yeah. If we yeah, would have binds, with, with that if we yeah. binds her thing instead, mm -hmm. then she wouldn't have been able to um, do all of the things. She still would have. Or yeah, yeah. it's all instant speed stuff. So yeah, we yeah. just we just let the thing die or let let our. It just wouldn't our... have had trample. Yeah. Well, not. Uh... Yeah, it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have double strike trample. It would have had double strike, just not trample. How so? Because it was mana morphos, bolt, and then with with the triggers, I could have vines. Right. No, we don't. We don't. Oh no, she couldn't. Have, what what it could have been done is like if we vines in response to the bolt on our creature, then she won't be able to cast four spells in response to make it a seven eight to give trample anyway. Because she, because mana morphos would be on the stack, therefore there would be two mana that she doesn't have that she needed for this. Right. So then we would have been able to live. We would have we had, would have had to anticipate draw, quite a few things. We would have so. had to uh, draw land, right. was what we were banking on. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I don't know. Yep. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, well, we made it close, though. Yeah. That was just, that was I think we were still dead no matter what. Um, if we would have been able to see all of the information, then we could have made a play that would have allowed us to live. Yeah. So, like, she... She only left one mana on the table. Like, she had the one mana for the stubborn denial. So, like, she still would have been able to cast all of her spells. She would have had to use that stubborn denial to counter our binds of the Vastwood, though. And we would have killed her a turn later with that burn spell. Mm -hmm. Well, so Mana Morphos was spell one. Mm -hmm. So, like, we would have had to cast vines in response to the Mana Morphos. I would have cast finds in response to the team or battle rage, and then it would have gotten countered by the stuff or denial. And then we would have played uh, the, the the ambusher, and we would have gone down to three. Then we bolt her, and then untap and play. Uh, um, actually, yeah, yeah, we, we just bolt her, and then right. untap so, and heal it. So the, the, the thought process behind make, like making the decision to vines the um, the Lone Lion was at that point she hadn't um, used mutagenic growth. Right. True. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we weren't, we didn't, cons when we cast vines, we were not considering the fact that if she adds a mutagenic growth to the pile. Yeah. yeah. So, like, like the spell order is like Manamorphose, we can vines there, let it resolve. We let it resolve. Right. And then she bolted our Lum Lion, which is where we used Vines. So, like, the decision tree becomes at that point, do we use Vines here or do we use it on the thing in the ice? Mm -hmm. So, like, we decided to use it on the Lum Lion so that, you know, we weren't dead to just Metagenic, or to just Teamer Battle Rage. And with the Ambusher, uh, along with our Burn Spells, she was dead, even if the Lum Lion was bounced to our hands. So, like, we forced her hand on flipping the thing in the ice that turn. Right. Um, but I think once she had played Mana Morphos, then that, like, I, I don't know if she would have taken a line that even if we would have waited, if she, I, I think she still would have gone for it that turn because she had the lethal. She had lethal. I think she would have probably tried to go for it. Did she know? She didn't know about our, our ambusher. She didn't know about the ambusher, but she knew about the vines. Right. Yeah, I, I, I think I think if we hold on the vines and wait in response to the battle rage, then that forces her to use her stubborn denial on the vines. 
Um, or I guess it doesn't force her to, but uh, I, I think she would have. It would have been well, very difficult. She knows that we have both Light and Helix in hand. So, like, if she's at six, she can't oh. use the denial there. Uh, oh, wait, no. She does because she thinks she has lethal because she doesn't know about Ambusher. Oh, about the pride mm -hmm. Or about the Ambusher, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, just not taking mitogenic growth into account was the mistake. Yep. And like I was saying, like, that's one of the reasons that deck is so good right now is because there's a lot of really sneaky stuff that costs zero and that people just don't take into account. Like, especially in paper, you're going to get so many people playing that deck. Yeah, if I were playing in the Grand Prix this weekend, I think I probably would try to play that deck. But nevertheless, those were good games. They were really close. A lot of tough decisions. Yeah. So. Those are interesting. Huh. I'm kind of hungry. Have you eaten yet? Uh, not for a while. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably get some food after the stream is over. We're... Mm -hmm. Are you guys driving down? Yep. Yeah. Ten hour grind tomorrow. Yeah. What, time, what time do you think you'll be there? Oh, yeah, it's, it's it's ten. It's, it's ten. Okay. It's, it's thirteen to fourteen for us from STL and there's four here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um I think we're probably gonna be leaving around like nine AM or so, so we'll get in at about seven PM. Reasonable. Maybe eight AM to six PM, something like that. That's going to be great. <laughs> At least we get to the legacy, though. Fact. <laughs> this hand's great. And we won the die roll? So I don't think we could possibly lose. We're just like, are we linksing on one? Mm. Gets in the most damage. I mean, can... step links. Yeah. Like yeah. Our game plan is just beat down with the dudes, and then well, there's no reason to make it a mold of six. Right. <laughs> I think step links is just always the best turn one play. Step one, step one. Yep. <laughs> I miss playing step links. I played a lot of step links plus uh, played a GOP. Yeah, yeah, Boros Bushwhacker. That deck was great. Or how you could just go turn one step links, turn two. Oh, goals. Uh oh. <laughs> I figured out how we're gonna lose in this game. It involves lifelink enchant creatures. <laughs> this guy's uh, moto handle is very appropriate as well. <laughs> I like it. Stomping ground, right? Yeah. Yeah, we go yeah. stomping ground and play more cats. We need to draw fetch next turn, is what we need to draw. That'd be pretty great. Cats, go! <laughs> Boggle is so slippery. I mean, if we draw a fetch next turn and he just like attacks, he's dead, so. Mm -hmm. No lifelink. Yes. No! <laughs> Uh, That's great we, for us. We have Rampage. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we just attack him for five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Tarkus command to stop the lifelink next turn if he has Daybreak Coronet. Yep. Uh, do we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but it is Vigilance, though. He didn't block? No. Okay. Yeah. Good next turn. <laughs> he actually is, because the Horizon Canopy will put him at 12, and we'll have 12 points of damage between the attack here, Boros Charm, and Atarkas Command. <laughs> Uh, but what if he has, uh, it's, it's got Vigilance and Lifelink though, right? We don't have to attack back. 
Like, oh, he's like, like, them, like yeah. he's gonna take one from from Canopy, three from the Targus Command, and then four from the Boros Charm. Gotcha. So if he doesn't have an untapped white source here, yep. And he has Cornet. He's dead. Night Viper, what's up, man? Oh, just another Horizon Canopy? Spirit Dancer, deal? Not quite. <laughs> Boros Charm and Targets Command. I think I just charm now, right? Yeah. We, we've got seven points of burn in our hand. Hmm. I don't. Yeah, I think we just a target's command. I don't think we want to show him Gore Clan Rampage here. Um. Is it worth showing vines that we're going to side out either way? Uh, if we're planning on siding out vines, then yeah, vines is the right way to go. Yeah. Yeah, let's just attack and cast vines. I mean, he, he could just have pass. True. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Ooh, um, yeah. Yeah, never mind then. Yep. <laughs> so we just kill with the darkest command? Yeah. Do we turn off life gain? I guess it, it's irrelevant. Put an extra land into play. We'll pump our guys. We'll reach. <laughs> nice. All right. I guess we all okay. Right. Destructive revelry. Yeah, and the pride mage. And deflecting palm. Yep, deflecting palm doesn't target the creature. No, it's great. Uh, do we want pyroclasms or just on the draw or I'm mean, on the play? Uh, I, I don't. I don't even like cards like that against them. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> uh, I think we can cut the paths. I want to keep the bolts. Maybe we can cut lightning helix. I think we cut that vine to the best, but yeah. Oh yeah, we cut the vines. Uh, lightning helix is okay. It can punch through the last few points of damage. <laughs> Mutagenic growth might also be pretty good. Yeah. What would we want that over? Probably the third core clan. We never want to see two. Yeah, but the first one's so good, right? Mm, it could be good. Sure. Yeah. So I like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, Night Viper. I'm Chris Anderson. Hey, it's Caleb. Caleb Shearer. <laughs> right, we got a mulligan this one. It's kind of like medium plus. Medium minus. I mean, we have the Gore Clan to be able to just, like, get him. Like, if he blocks. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's it. Nice. Yeah, I'm not, I, I don't love that mountain. <clears throat> uh, we just step links, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, step links. We, we race it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Basically, our only line is just hope to race. I, I don't think we're going to win this game. Like, we might, but we're not favored just because he's on the play. Yeah. Like, we have to have some sort of artifact enchantment rule mm -hmm. spell to be able to handle, like, the one of Cornet. Right. Yeah, okay. That seems like. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we've been here before. Um... I kind of want to save this windswept heath. 
One, two, three, four, five. Because I feel like I feel like the way we're gonna win this game is to not be dead and fetch mutagenic growth, rampager, boros charm this creature. On uh, top deck boros charm? Yeah. On turn four? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna make it till turn four. We're gonna have to chop block while in the cuddle. Hmm. What if I just Heath Pass? I'm okay with. Well, I, I don't. Oh, do no. you want? No. I don't think we want to jump block with step links. I was thinking it would be a four five on his turn. Right. So we we basically need that step links to turn all of our mana into damage because we really need to squeeze every single point of damage we can out of our cards. Um, I think yeah, hey, it's just basic forest what, and a battle. Uh, if we if we here, what if we if we play the heat fetch attack for four playing the coddle? If he doesn't have a life gain uh, enchantment, then if he swings at us, we have if we draw a fetch land, that's also an out for uh, complete. Is a thirteen, which will yeah. be. Yeah. Um, sure. yeah, 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 let's just let's just okay. do that. So Post fetch card fetch card. for a basic forest and play in a coddle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good thing we got seven basics. We do need to draw a fetch land here to have 13, though. Yeah. Okay. This card is unreal. Yeah, it's one of the most powerful cards in modern. Yeah. Now, I can say it's one of the best cards in modern, but it is All certainly. Right. Come on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> deflecting palm. <laughs> Defle oh! <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. It's not good enough. <laughs> We're gonna have to jump block. Um, doesn't have trample yet. Well, I mean, we get a, we get to play a tap land, or no, we get to. Oh, no, yeah, no, we, we drop the stomping ground in the play tapped, and then we bash with a seven seven to coddle. I guess. This is really yeah. I was All right, pretty. We'll just go to the next game. We're not dead, but like we're less than one percent to win. We we can still get this if we like draw another deflecting palm and other good cards. I think we could win yeah. this game. Let's. Would Reed do concede here? No. No, sir. So you think I attack with this McConnell? Uh, yes. Or no, no, no. Never mind. I was gonna say, what if he just snaps off a of ball? Yeah, <laughs> vigilance, doesn't it? <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah. We just pass. For that. Now we're dead. To the skies. All right. Mm, Night Viper. I've not seen it happen. Yeah, I would mulligan this. We can't beat a reasonable... Like, th this hand is normally very good, but I don't think we can beat a normal, reasonable uh, Bogles draw. Every deck that I play in Modern, outside of Amulet, has always just had the most abysmal Bogles matchup. Why do you think I told Quinn to play Bogles? <laughs> it's so insane. Just Bogles on lands. Yep. <laughs> It shouldn't even be a deck. This is not the way Richard Garfield intended Magic to be played. I don't know. I think but it's I mean, exactly how Richard Garfield yeah. intended the game to be played. I mean, it seems so so fitting, though. I mean, I mean, granted, Modern is the most interactive format, but... <laughs> you have no need for that. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're fetching on turn one anyway. Maybe he'll mold a three. He'll just never hit a bubble. 
I, I couldn't be so lucky. All right, so we get what? Stomping ground Nakatl here? Uh, yeah. Four probes? I can respect four probe build a list. That sounds actually pretty nice. Would it be worth? I don't know, but it's definitely, it's, it's worth finding out. I don't know if it's good enough, but it's worth finding out. Next big standard tournament for us, it's in Knoxville. Is that right? Like standard one? Yeah. Yeah, because Columbus is modern. Right. Oh, uh, we should have got a green white. Mm. In case we draw a white one drop. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, well. Like we want to combine this ground swell with the Boros charm, so. We definitely, oh, no, yeah, yeah. We definitely yeah. should have got green white. Because now I have to take an extra two points of damage here to play this online. Yep. Which might actually end up At that point, we just want to cast the ground swell. It's just going to be super relevant. Yeah, I think we just cast the ground swell. Like this turn. We do Temple Garden here or Sacred Foundry? Uh, I think it's Sacred Foundry. I think so too. Yeah. And then bash. Yeah, ground sword boards charm is pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. I... This guy's gonna have turn one, turn one boggle, turn two enchantment, enchantment, all three games. No, he so, won't. He's not gonna hit his land drops. Is he missing a land? Devium, imagine something good might happen. <laughs> but it doesn't. You don't need to be such a Debbie Downer. It, it, know, it's, all, it's only against this deck. Conjure it. Just have to. To try to believe what? in a lot of averages. See? Something good just happened. Maybe. Just attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We, the linking the land drop doesn't matter. And then we get to react. Exactly, Night Viper. You get it. Maybe the Wicked Witch, or mm -hmm. let's see, Apple, that's Snow White, Evil Queen, mm -hmm. accidentally ate her own apple. Does he just have double path? <laughs> I mean, wow. Uh, that's better than him having two ethereal armors. Is it? For us? Yeah? I guess. I disagree. I don't know, we can't kill him then... Like right, he's th gonna, this is going to be a game that we can win with a Deflecting he's a, Palm. He's a probable functional 10. We like need to draw Deflecting Palm to win this game. Yeah, a Deflecting Palm would be great. Oh, or a, a 3 damage spell. Maybe... Try to... Three. Helix, yeah. Or... Is it more right to borrow a storm there? I don't think so, because we're gonna, in order to win the game, we're gonna have to cast both spells at our opponent's face. That's fair. And this makes it so that our opponent doesn't. It, it, it like, makes him think that he has one more life than he actually does, because there's a lot more three damage cards in our deck than four damage okay. cards. Uh, okay, that's so fair. it could uh, cause him to make a portal play. Yeah. Draw another Boros Charm. Yeah, Boros Charm just killed him here. Another Boros Charm. Deflecting Palm Boros Charm? <sighs> Neither? Nope. Not this time. Yeah. Maybe next turn. Okay. Do I have Boros Charm here? Mm, what does that accomplish? Because we can cast we can cast anything in our deck and Boros Charm still, right? 
Yeah, and plus if we drown the coddle, there's the theoretical Yikes. random chance of being able to kill that boggle. Uh, making it indestructible. Yeah, boundary. that's true. Yeah, yeah let's wait on the Boros Charm. Boros Charm. Come on! Yes! <laughs> you just gotta ask for it! See, see, we have something good happen. You just gotta believe. I, I do not feel bad for my Boggles opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Alright. Uh, you know what? I do not have a deck list for this. Here it is. Let me... Yeah, your deck. <laughs> yeah, I have a snip. So here, let me uh, put it on Imageure. Seven basic lands. There's the uh, the deck list. Later, softballs. Oh man, Rick and Morty season three is this month. Oh, they they give a date? <laughs> November. Nice. I like how our opponent on Boggles, his username is Dream Crusher. Right? <laughs> that, yeah, I was saying that earlier. It's like this guy's got the perfect moto name. Bubbles is real rough to play against. Random Drooler has 13 trophies. Isn't that uh, S-Man? Yeah, that's Steve, man. He plays Drake. Does he do anything other than play Moto? He doesn't have a job, right? I don't think it's very easy to have 13 undefeated trophies. 13 in Modern. All he does is play Modern Dredge. That's insane. That's crazy. Well... I guess he's probably, like, one of the favorites to win the Grand Prix this weekend. Yeah, this guy's name is Polymorph, but it's spelled Polly like Polly Shore, which is great. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got cats. This one's okay. This mm -hmm. one's great. Cat. Old cat. Dark's name. Yeah. Opponent Mulligan, even? What a delight. You know, what's funny is we don't we don't win that game if I don't mess up and get priced into ground swell on two. It just gets stranded in our hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he's scribed to the top. I'll play my one one. Please don't get shot me. Why no Kurt Ape? It's not a cat. Search for tomorrow? Alright, alright. Oh, race is on. Alright, we gotta kill him before it's relevant. I think we can do this. Uh, we definitely need the forest. Yeah. We do 4 plus 6 and 13 right now. Okay. So yeah, I guess we just drop the mountain and then... I think I just attack his command here. Yeah, I, yeah. that makes sense. You don't want to get, like, bolted or something. And then, yeah, he's dead next turn. So long as we get to crack with poems. Yeah, and I even yeah. have like a path if he just like threw the breaches a titan here. Or just drops a tribe elder. Six. Okay. 
Hopefully he doesn't anger of the gods. Well, that's another bridge. Titan. Simeon Spirit Guide. Oh, he's just casting a Titan. Yeah. Simeon Spirit Guide. That's a real card. So I just, I, I mean, yeah, I just well, he's dead. at this and he's dead, yeah? He is dead. Well, I think he's dead. Yeah, he only has three. He has four mountains, so he can't get a Valakut trigger here. Right. If he goes Valakut Mountain, though, um, then he's not dead. Yeah. He's probably just. Woo! He's seized the line. Well, all right. Let me just do it anyway. I mean, uh, I, I wait to see what I draw, because if I draw, like, a pump spell, I can save my creature. True. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we both upstairs, though, right? Yes. Yeah. That's free, yeah. Yeah. We, we've got a lot of outs. A lot of outs. That's not one of them. Um, man, I've seen it spirit. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that before. Oh, really? Uh, -uh. uh it's in the. Uh, it, he's a breach list then. Yeah, it has. Yeah, to be. yeah. I've seen like they're they're starting to run two to three. I think like like uh, was it Scott Lip did it? Like sure. East West Bowl were like the ones. To start yeah, that makes sense. The card's incredibly powerful. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think I just have to pat this and then attack him to one, right? Yeah, that's basically the only line that we can really... Otherwise he gets to attack with it, and that's obviously much worse. Yeah. Oh. God, how sick would it have been to hit a Rampage and I could just, like, attack and then path before blockers and then save the one that he... Yeah, that would have been gross. Uh, yeah, that's fine. In our deck a bit. Please, no scape shift. Just a second Titan. They don't even need Green Suns in it, they just draw two. <laughs> well, he didn't draw any scape shifts, so I mean, that's pretty lucky for us, right? They run one, maybe two, in the Breach version. Okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Or he's the greediest, and then it's like, you got All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <sighs> Targus command. We got a lot of. Uh... Oh no, we're just dead. Well, we'll see. Does he just I, have? I, a, is it? Does he just have Farseek as the last card in hand? Possibly, he might also just choose to let this through, like the way it is. Like he'll, he might just pass the turn here. Or a tribe builder. No, no, we're just the real exactsies use all my cards. Yep. Hold on, I'm gonna fetch first so we can know what card we would have drawn. Oh, does that show you? I mean, w when I can see it, I can draw a card. Oh, sure. So, so, so dumb. Just actual perfects. Our hand was real good, too. That's okay. Yeah, that's nah, we wouldn't have got there. We would have been able to splash in like a song for sure, though. <laughs> uh, all right. Give him a palm. Is that is that any good? Yeah, especially if he's a three they're pretty true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prevent six. Yeah, but I mean, just like get them to six is kind of the. Mm -hmm. The rest of the cards in our deck aren't particularly great against him, though. I guess more paths is okay. Hmm. What do we even call it? Um, just seems bad. Yeah, Brimaz is it's slow. Just so slow. So is it Johnny? And Ambusher is also just. No is it Johnny good? good? It's like. Disruption, right? It's, it's mana denial. I but guess it's, it also does does damage. Right. I think we just want vines. Like Actually, I think we just cut the Johnnies for paths. I think that's okay. Is Pride Mage better than Helix? I don't think so. I think a one-one split's fine. Like then he might just have like one or two prismatic omen in his deck. 
Okay, yeah, that's a possibility. <sighs> Can't beat them when they play turn four, turn five. Real tight, and you can down to one, though. Oh, yeah, you do is draw a lightning bolt or a pump spell. Yeah. We're in okay shape that game. This sounds really good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so if I... If I Deflecting Palm in Anger of the Gods, and it would hit just like a bunch of creatures, does it stop all of the damage? Oh my god, yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just to you. Yeah. Oh, damn it. You gotta <laughs> read. Can't do that. That would be insane, though. Does any card actually do that? I feel like there's something that does to prevent all of the damage that a source would deal and fire it all back at your opponent. <clears throat> so it's just uh, like channel harm does that. Which card? Channel harm from like Fate Reforged six mana white sorcery for instant. I mean, oh uh, yeah, it costs six. Search for tomorrow. That's pretty good. Mm, you get to ding him for eight though. Yep. Or do we just play not Nikado Lum Lion? Probably double that. Cat. Yeah, yeah, double cat sounds good. Yeah, we have a Tarkus command. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we're still getting stomping around either way, though. Fetch next turn would be great. See you, Jam Dot. See you later, Mike. Ooh, Tri Builder. All right, value. Needed that land. Mm -hmm. Fetch would have been better, but this is still fine. So we get to deal one, two, three, four, five with it. Tarkus Command, four with the ground spell, nine plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen. Yep. That's unlucky. That's pretty funny. Uh, not the creature he blocked, right? No, he blocked the Nikon. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, your turn. Good luck. Yep. I'll have six. Yeah, he has he has one out next breach. This game. Yeah, Nikon breach. I mean, spear guide breach. Or I, I oh, guess yeah. he just played. And also, just like explosives for one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, well, that's fine. We've got the palm now. We can get him the palm. <laughs> we gonna touch him. Balath, wow! He has it all. <laughs> Night Viper, why did you conjure it?
Okay. Well. This should be interesting. So if he tries to hit me, for, like, dome me for one, do I just... Deflecting palm one of them back and hope to draw a burn spell? Uh, can we tie this game? Ooh, no. triple Valica. Okay, he's trying to kill us. Yeah, he, he's going to try to kill us with the... Uh, it's literally insane that he's just like... Playing around he, everything? He had Titan last turn, but he actively played around Deflecting Palm. Well, he didn't actively play around Deflecting Palm. He also actively played around any burn spell that we could have top decked. Malice was the clear play. Yeah, we need to draw... A burn spell uh, here. Yeah, actually, because uh, path path is good. Yeah, we got to path that Titan. Maybe, yeah, take nine and then uh, deflecting palm upstairs and the, yeah. on the ballot. Yeah, go to one. Hopefully, we draw a burn spell. Yeah. We don't take nine though. We only we only take nine if he draws. Uh, uh, if he plays a land. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. whoa! Yeah, I didn't talk. Yeah, because next turn he was planning on dinging us for 12 with the Valakut, so that we would be dead before we had the opportunity to, prim uh, to palm his prime time. I'm sure he has a second time. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Well, I will say this guy played very well. Yeah, he played around everything. Probably going, I knew it. But the question is, did he know about that Atarkas command that is going to come off the top of our deck? I mean, we could just be dead here if we had, like, fed. Nope, nope, not dead. Now we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, good games. When you beat, you beat. Uh, put him to one. He needs to draw a fetch there instead of a normal land. Nobody wants the hearty apple. That's just a bunch of seeds. It doesn't taste good at all. Thrill Helm. Alright, this is our last match. We're going to go first. Hand is acceptable. Yeah, great. Not in my tummy. Yeah, it still does. A lot of animals just eat apples whole, right? Like bears? Yeah, like, all of them. Yeah, except for us. Yeah. Which we can. Like, you can eat the stem, you can eat everything. Have you seen the video on YouTube where they've got the... the um, I don't know, what was it? It's uh, a hip, the, 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 the hip part of eat, eating the watermelons? Yeah. Oh, cool. Hmm. This is just like... Gulp it up. He just like puts the watermelon in his mouth and it just chomps down on it and it just explodes the watermelon. It's so cool. Oh, I wish cool. I could do that. Well, we are getting inquisitioned. It's kind of cool to have a hippopotamus and just like a giant, yeah, like except, you know, pallet of watermelons. Right. Except <laughs> hippopotamuses are like the most deadly oh, animals yeah. to humans on the planet. Yeah, Inquisition of Kozilek, so we've got a Jun strategy. Probably. My mouth was that big, I would be rich. I don't know what that insinuates. Well, you probably would be because you could, like, 
he'd be in like every circus ever for being like, you know. Uh, I don't want to live my life with a circus. <laughs> be a carny. Yeah. I guess that would be one way to do it. Uh, yeah. It also could be like... We, we are already on the road every weekend anyway, so mm -hmm. it wouldn't be too different. Yeah, you just do that as the week job. Yep. <laughs> It's possible with a lantern. Ooh. Do we just like play the second step links? Yeah, let's play the second step links, drop stomping ground, and attack for two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should just ground spell this turn, yeah? Uh, we can. Yeah, probably, because if it's a gen deck, then we definitely want to get it over with. Right. Turn it into damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if you've got a giant mouse, then you're kind of priced into it as a career, aren't you? If we draw a burn spell and he has nothing, he's dead next turn, so. Hopefully we can get the anti uh, victory. It is I can't lantern. It is lantern. Aaron lantern. Dominic, you're so smart. We got a Brimaz coming. That's pretty good. Oh God, Steplinks is so good against uh, in Staring Bridge. Bridge. We have our own signal pests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he melted away. Yeah, but now we get oh, now he's a dead. ground spell. <laughs> I guess he can. He has to sacrifice his lantern to make a shuffle. Well, he doesn't know we got a fetch in our hand. Oh, that's true. We have the only concealed information we'll ever have, but it's good enough. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've never really played lantern before, but it's something that I would definitely not mind trying. Definitely, would be interested to see how it does in Dallas this weekend. Oh, so he just lets us draw the ground swell. Nope. Oh, we're, so we're in our upkeep. He's going to extract ground swell. Uh, cast it in response, right? Yeah. With our temple garden. Yeah, there is a mountain. Does that still kill him? No, we can take him to one. 13 puts him to one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Soli Ambush are not very good in this matchup. Surprise. <laughs> but yeah, this matchup's probably pretty good for us. Um, Aggressive aggro is usually really good against Lantern. I think we just, I think we just use our Ethan fetch, yeah. We just put him at an effective one. Ooh, got another fetch on top. Maybe I don't use this fetch then. Um, well, we're not getting that fetch. That's just not happening. Because he's got a Codex Shredder next turn and a Pixis. So six, nine. Yeah, maybe we do just fetch here. I would fetch it. Now he's on engineering bridge or bust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got to mill that away. Uh, well, it's not necessarily bust because our creatures don't actually do any damage. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, basically we have to draw a creature off the top of our deck next turn or else he's dead. Yeah. So we just burn. Do I, I just put him at one here, right? Uh, we can wait. Uh, that way he just doesn't know that we've got access to that damage. He well, does. He, he looked at our hand from extraction. Like, is oh, there any is there okay. any benefit to not not Waiting. putting him at one? I don't know if there's any benefit or disadvantage. It's just it's three damage either way. It's gonna be cast. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe we just like wait and see what he decides to give us. 
right? Yeah. Because we're going to be able to know by the time it's our turn. Yeah. Planes, that's lethal. And he draws the bridge. Mm -hmm. I did have a land. Okay, so he can play the bridge. Yeah, he'll be able to play the lantern and he'll be able to um, thing us. Another pixels. Oh, okay. I thought that he had. No, he, he, got, oh, yeah. he, he got rid of the shredder. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. You're not gonna. Mm. Oh, yeah, he doesn't need to because it's not that land. Yeah. Lame. All right, I think we're in trouble now. Do I just bolt? I guess so. No, no, I don't want to because I don't want him to draw another extraction. Oh, yeah, good call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not getting that one. I think I just pulled the planes. Okay. The thing is, all of the effects lands in our deck are lethal, <laughs> so we've got a lot more lethal cards than uh, normal. Uh, they're, they, they require he, he a waiting can, turn. He, he, he can pick the needle, the Woody, Woody yeah, Foothills, exactly. and give it to us, though. Yeah, he's a must. He's a must. Okay. But even so, oh, that's no, fine. This Adventure's oh. Fair is going to be real bad. Adventure's Fair? You. And yeah, he just names Woody Foothills with his special needle. Playing, playing against this deck may, literally makes me not want to play Magic. Yeah, I know. That's why it's so great. But that's not great. Like, why would you want to make your opponent not want to play Magic? Uh, Schadenfreude? I guess. <laughs> nah, it's miserable in every sense of the word. Just, just... You can concede whenever you want. That's what... Um, that's what... Uh, what's his name told me? The guy who won yeah, the Pro Tour egg. Just, I'm not going to waste my time. Dan Sivka, yeah. yeah. I played against Dan Sivka <laughs> once, and he played like really slow, and I asked him to play faster, and he's like, you can get feed whenever you want. Just like, yeah, I mean, I'm just not going to waste my time. Yeah. Uh, Basically a 2005 stack <laughs> <laughs> I Get those ambushers out of there. Um, do we want the, the helix? Yes. Mm. A Johnny Benjamin seems great. Uh, can cut path. Can, oh yeah, he's got the needle for it, but yeah. Still though. I think New Jenny Grip is fine. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, we have pump spells that we can play on our step links mm -hmm. after they attack. Yeah, at that point, maybe Vines is fine, too. Vines is probably better than Brimass. Yeah. We've, we, we've gotten our opponent down to one multiple times this time. Yeah, we really <laughs> have. This league is just insane. According to the rules of magic, we've done something wrong. More than once. One is not zero. <laughs> if you get your opponent to one, you did something wrong. Or they did something extremely right. Yeah. Did, yeah. did you see that uh, the the Rip Ross Merriam video that's been going around? I did. That, awesome. that yeah. like the sequence against. Reed just showing every time he has an answer for like 12 times in a row yep. is very good cinematography. <laughs> uh, yeah, hands great. Really like a red source, but Sky Prime Mage is excellent. We'll get there. Yeah. 
Restore balance. Uh oh. Oh, come on, man. See, it's, it's interesting because, like, this is a reason that modern is so polarizing. It's so split. Like, people are like, yeah, this is great. I can play in a league and play against Burn and Boggles and Lantern Control and Scape Shift. And then I'm just like, I can play in a league and I play against Burn, Boggles, Lantern Control, Scape Shift, and it sucks. <laughs> but everybody else thinks it's great. That's not my problem with modern. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Hey, we can draw two red mana. I guess I just play it? Oh, double garden. No, yeah, we want to get two from our long line. This Lantern deck is pretty sweet. It's one of those decks where it's like a blast to play, but just so miserable to play against. Mm -hmm. It would be okay if it just ended quickly. But, but no. You always feel like you have a chance. Because mathematically, you do. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Uh, you put Crowdex Shredder in his hand. Ooh, nice. Side Prime Mage. I think it was Pride Mage here. Mm hmm. For sure. Before he gets uh, surgical or something. It would have been real gross if you would have had surgical there. <laughs> you better play another artifact, buddy. Alright, that's an artifact. So is that. Oh, uh, yeah, North Plain Rampager's tact. Yep. <laughs> Five, eight. Do I attack with both? I mean, we just get to run it. Yeah, force more than three. Yeah. And we get to kill Spellscout if he blocks. Right. Don't mutagenic rather than He's okay. Yep. Page. All right. He's pretty dead. Like, if he lets us draw Helix, then he just dies. Uh, yeah, we got him. Maybe he'll try to like go his quarter or mount him in hopes to cut us off of red or something. Yeah, joke's on you, we got seven basics. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Snaring bridge. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's getting blown up. Yeah, I have to do it 
I might as well do it now, right? Uh -huh. Oh wait, um... Like, I can't attack to get the trigger and then do it, so... Right. Yeah. Oh, he whiffed off of his imps. Oh, no, he, he wanted to... Um, he didn't want to make his hand heavier. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, fight mutagenic growth, and then we've got lethal in hand. Yeah, I wonder if like is uh, lantern good against dredge? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I played against it once. Like I ran and. I, I like 5 0 to League with Dredge, and then I like started another League with Dredge, and then got paired against Bogles, and I got paired against Lantern, and started out 0 2. And yeah. then I won my other three, and then I 5 0 another League with it. And then I was like, all right, playing Dredge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically it's in Snake Bridge, and then they search all your conflagrates, and you can't. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you literally have nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And just like hope to uh, get ancient crutches in post sideboard games, but yeah, you also get to run each like free roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mox opal into their hand. The cage deck that gets around ancient starting is going to be kind of tough. Yeah. Mm, that's not enough. Does this deck run? Um, White Ley Lines? Um, I feel like it's so weak to burn. I've seen some people do that. A lot of them run Sun Droplet, actually. Okay. Yeah, Sun Droplet seems good. Well, that's so crazy. It, it lets me draw cards at the end there, but because Lantern's out, my opponent gets to see the top card of my library after I draw a card at the end of the game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, sneaky, yeah. Baltimore is going to be legacy. I imagine that feline's going to be there, usually at most of the tournaments. And yeah, she usually plays high tide. That's fun. <laughs> it is definitely fun. I've gotten to play it once, I think and I hand, this hand but, is probably fine. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We got a Johnny Benjamin. Yeah. He can't take position at Johnny Benjamin. Yeah, we need to draw some land. Hopefully they don't have just turn running position for the third game in a row. Right. But we know the apple always says they do. Oh. That's okay. We got a Johnny Mendo. Nobody expects Kazalek's inquisition. Don't think he can No, uh, he's got Pithing Needle. Never mind. Um Caleb's playing Storm, because he always plays Storm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Death and Taxes, because the new white cards from Conspiracy 2 are great. And I don't know what CBM's playing right now. Uh, likely Delver. If I can get the cards for Death and Taxes, I'll play that. And if somebody brings me an Aluren deck, I'll play Aluren. Don't play Aluren. <laughs> don't do it. I mean, I can text... Uh, Just gonna... Death. <laughs> yeah, he uh, at one of the opens, he he went on a crusade to get a learn, so he got it. Devin kept, is he have Imperial recruiters or does he have recruiter of the guard? Uh, he'll have recruiters of the guard now. But he was okay. running the bug version that was uh, like oh, four, confidence yeah. with uh. Yeah. Yo, if somebody will bring me to learn deck, I'll play it. Right, I'll Don't do <laughs> it. <laughs> I I played a learn at the Grand Prix that Saito won. It was something. Are you talking about the old uh, extended deck? No, it was um, it was a legacy deck. Oh, the it, one it was the one. Was, yeah, it was the one yeah. where Sites to one, and then later got yeah, six balls yeah, with, or uh, something. Yeah, it was the when you ran the black, uh, the Merfolk Splash Black. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, Saito actually beat me in that tournament too. Yeah, he played Engineered Plague on humans, and then I couldn't combo off because of my Imperial Creatures were zero zeros. Yeah, yeah, that was the first event that uh, Modern Day Ant was debuted at. Yeah, and uh, survival. Mentally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Caleb's deck was. Mm -hmm. Welding draws too. Yep. Man, 
the second stirrings. Cool collars bell. All right, that's good news. Ding, ding, ding. Hmm. Yeah, I think we crack. Uh, I think I get stomping ground here. Either stomping ground or sacred foundry. They're both fine. We just want the red source though. Yeah, it's time to fun. Yeah, we need. We might need triple green at some point. Well, that's pretty good. And yeah, he knows we have Gore Clan. This is a game that I wish that I had uh, um, Vermez in my deck. Man, he's just drawn, like his draw steps have been like Ancient Stirring's Lantern in sight. <laughs> well, he's going to have a hard time casting things from here on out. I just play this rampager. Oh man! Oh, oh, we could. We... It's not awful. I was thinking, just drop a Johnny onto the board and start taking up. We he, can't. He needled it. Oh, he needled it. That's that's a shame. Yeah, let's play the rampager then. Yeah, zero cards in hand. Yes, they mm -hmm. have to hit a. What do we call it? I'll be really disappointed if we win this game without a cat. We got a cat. We do have a cat, but we, if we win the game because of Gar Clan Rampager. Yeah, this guy has like a million welding jars. Yeah. Does he just like block and regenerate? Yeah, that's fine. Probably a good idea. Yeah, slowly but surely. Yep. Guess what? LOL. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Huh? That was great. <laughs> That's too good. Yeah, that's fantastic. These, tri that's these Trixie green cards. Yo, mine's is so great. Oh, of course. No, oh, oh, now he has no, a bridge. Of course. of course. Man, we got to make that cool play, and then bridge. I guess he gets to see, like, three cards a turn, though. Yeah, so I'm just going to concede. We're not winning this game. Yeah, this is going to be really, really difficult to win. Yeah. He outplayed us savagely. He definitely deserved that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh well. <laughs> uh that was funny though. <laughs> yeah, we got we got paired against the most wild decks. Mm -hmm. What was it? It was Bur burn, then blue red kiln fiend, then um uh bogles. Yeah. Green red then uh, scape shift. Uh, and, then Balakut, and then Lantern. Mm -hmm. Well, that's modern for you. Yep. Yeah, isn't it great? It's something. This is definitely not the format to brew in because, like, you just can't cover all your bases. Mm, it, it depends. You can brew as long as your deck is incredibly objectively powerful and um, linear. But if you're trying to react, you're going to have a bad time. But I like, think. is that really going to be a brew? Like, like the, those are already all decks. 
Yeah, I would say most of the most of the super linear stuff has probably already been established, but there are like several thousand cards to choose from in the format. It's definitely possible that we've missed something. Like for example, yeah. at one point was a brew, you know? Yeah, I mean, and that deck's still a brew, but that's just bias. Sure. I mean, yeah, kind of. I don't know. I, I agree, though. Like, modern's really hard to brew in because there's so many very powerful, very linear things that you have to account for. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, it's basically like everything that gets brewed up is, besides Lantern, pretty much another one of those decks. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> in function, they do very similar things to something that's already existing. How does a creature have 20 power is kind of the question of modern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's going to be our review. Cat deck was sweet. kind of wish we had played against, like, other decks that wanted to fight using <laughs> using the red zone, but that's just not the case sometimes. Um, we did we did beat Boggles, which is pretty sweet. Yep. <laughs> that's, but, that's we, but we lost to uh, Kill and Fiend, Scape Shift, and Lantern. I think we could have beat the Kill and Fiend. Uh, but we would have had to play pretty well. Like, yeah. The line that we took was good, um, and it wasn't good enough. Uh, there was a better one, but it was a really, really tough game. Yeah, and then again, Scape Shift, like, they just literally had everything and played yeah. very well. So. There's nothing we can do. Yeah. But, I mean, that's that's the thing about Modern that really frustrates me the most, is the number, the high percentage of games where there's nothing you can do. It's really, it's it's tough, because... You know, sometimes they just do their thing, and you do your thing, and your thing's just not good enough. So. Yeah, I mean, we got that scape shift deck down to one life on turn three, and then lost. Yep. We came close. Nineteen on turn three is not good enough. <laughs> FYI. Not in modern. <laughs> All right. Well, we will be in Baltimore this weekend, so make sure you stop by and come say hello. Check out cardhoarder.com uh, for. Sweet MTGO cards and isleofcards.com if you want to buy something physically in person. Um, yep. We also have a bunch of other content from the rest of Team Card Hoarder you can find on the website and on the Card Hoarder YouTube archives, so make sure you check that out. We'll be back. You guys check out my video. I went 5 0 this week with Red Black Reanimator and Legacy. It was great. Put a bunch of turn one. Uh... Uh, Sorry, insanity. <laughs> it was really fun. How does your Storm deck beat that, Caleb? Uh, hope you wouldn't die roll. Who, how does Turn anyone away. beat Turn 1 Sire of Insanity other than Force of Will? Uh, Dredge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Literally. Deal. Uh, yeah, there really isn't much else you can do to beat that. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, everybody, Our thanks speech. for joining us. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll yeah. be back next Thursday. 5.30 p.m. for another brew review. Send in your decks to cbm.stream at gmail.com. I actually don't know what format we're going to do next week, so just send me a bunch of stuff. They did just ban Prigman, Drake, and Popper, Popper, so we might revisit Popper because there are a lot of decks that are actually playable now that Drake is not a thing. So I miss Drake. Drake I, was one of my decks. I expect a bunch of decks with Ardara Express because that card is very good in Popper. Is that the the train? Yeah, the four three. Oh yeah, I bet so. Yeah, that very, seems very good. I bet that that card was probably good in blue red Drake sideboard. Probably. Yeah, it's like evocable drifter and then your thing meets <laughs> quite a time. <laughs> That's so sick. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night. We're gonna sign off. <laughs>